start and we saw the fall another day just fewer calls and the sun will rise and the moon will set my name is michael just duffy uh, i'm a franciscan friar and i work here in philadelphia at a soup kitchen called saint francis inn it's assigned to a parish in east rutherford new jersey where I ministered to parishioners with Father Michael Judge and several other friars. Uh, the position down here uh, was being vacated and there were no friars to replace the friar that was leaving. So I heard about that and I thought this would be a nice next step for me to uh, come down here and work with the homeless in Philadelphia. I came down here in a few years and by that time, Father Michael was the chaplain of the fire department in New York City. I was driving the truck, picking up food for the inn, the donations and so forth, and it came across a radio that a plane hit the World Trade Tower. On my way back, I was looking at our skyline in Philly, wondering if a plane was gonna hit one of our buildings and so forth. And we come, I come back here and uh, was working preparing the evening meal when at four o'clock I got a telephone call from a, 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 a mutual friend of ours who's a friar who told me that Michael had died. I got a call from our provincial in New York who said that Michael Judge had my name down to give a homily and I said well that's okay in ordinary circumstances but this is a worldwide event this is a big thing this is way above my head, you know, to say something significant or whatever at a funeral. And I said, you're the provincial. This is a big deal. Why don't you do it? And he simply said, but Michael wanted you. Uh, I, as well as everyone in America, like we're standing there with our mouth open. What was this? You know, what happened? Why in America? And is it going to happen in the next five minutes to another city, another building? Everyone was on pins and needles and on edge for days and days. Look up at the sky and see no trails of the jets, you know, nothing flying, people stranded and all these things. And uh, the, the, the pressure actually mounted over the days, you know, and people, everyone had an opinion about what. And now I was supposed to stand up and kind of say something at a funeral to calm people or have them turn to their faith. It was just a task that I felt was way beyond what I felt. So I really think that uh, in my life, that's one of the most powerful examples of the Holy Spirit. Even looking back at it, although I've never seen a tape of it, and I don't think I ever want to, but uh, I just said words because a friend of mine had died. I didn't try to solve the problem of terrorism or figure out evil in the world or get angry. I just simply talked about my friend who was a good person and that he was in heaven now. Here we are 20 years later and we look back at that incident and it's still, I think it conjures up fear and terror in people's heart, even thinking about it because thinking it could happen again in a different form, different place, because that concept was never heard of before in any kind of warfare in the history of man, humankind. So it was just something. So it kind of it ushered in a new era. I mean, sometimes I think we've come a long way, sometimes I think we're, we've taken two steps backwards, but it's, you, we can't ever give up hope that that will happen, that that incident was the first and last of that kind of warfare. Always come, always go, but we're never Just see.